Hello, I am Russell96, and this is a tutorial on how to build this large castle wall that I'm using in my castle progress videos. And it's made in layers, so it's not that difficult to build once you know how to build it. And for the sake of simplicity, I'm not going to build all of the interior parts of it. I'm just going to build the exterior part but explain how to build this and I'll also leave a download link in the description so if you want to have a closer look at this you can. Okay let's get started. I'm going to build this main portion of the wall first over here and I like to start it off by having the layers the layer system start one block off the ground so It'd be like that, and from there, it is that shape on each side of it. So it should look like that, and behind this, there's two, or, well, there's two wide stone, and to go up to the next layer, Starting flush with the stair block, you go up six blocks. Then place another upside down stair. Then on, on top of those stairs, two more cobblestone and two more stairs on top of that. And then it would just go up another six blocks. like that. And for this part it's just all the way up and if you just wanted it for a show you wouldn't technically need those blocks so you could save a few blocks by not filling in those. So you would just make as many of these layers as you want it tall and for my castle on my single player world I have it four open spaces and the last one is where the battlements and corbels I think those are called it's been a while since I've looked at that and that would be there but for the sake of time and since it's really the same thing this is as tall as the wall is going to be Okay, once it's up here, instead of putting cobblestone here, this would be the floor, so you would place whatever block you're using for your floor. So I'm just going to use stone bricks, and might as well make that go out a little bit this way. And to make the battlements, make a small gap flush, well, one block out from the wall like this, and fill in the rest of the space. And since the battlements are too thick, instead of just having one block overhang, make it a two block overhang, like that. And now place four blocks like this, well, entire row of blocks like that, then four blocks like that this, two more blocks like that, four more blocks there, two more blocks there, and two more blocks there, and so if you made another layer it would just start where it w left, making another complete one of these, and to finish the battlements place slabs here, and stairs here, and make sure these are facing the other direction where it would look weird. And stairs like this on the back. And I also like to put trap doors here so you could still technically open those and shoot arrows but they don't block that much space. And for the 
um, core bells, I think they're called. Start by placing two stairs like that. Oh, don't place stone there. Place stone bricks. Filling in all the empty space. So it should look like this and then just place more upside down stairs to finish it off. Like that. And two more here. So that would be how you build a section of this wall. It looks a little bit odd because it's only one section. So you would normally want this to be a fairly long wall. And now for the next part, which is the second tier. And this would only, you would only really build this if you're building this wall into like the castle, so the rest of the castle interior is on this side. If you were just making it for like a boundary wall, I would like mirror this design on this side, so it would be two sided, which would be simple enough to do. But I'm going to show how to make the second tier, which is really simple once you know how to make it. So start by counting five blocks from the stair block. One, two, three, four, five. And place the block there. I'm going to expand it a little bit more. And place blocks like that. A two space gap. And more blocks. Like that. And it's still using the tier design. So it's up seven blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, then cobblestone. And build up these pillars a little bit to match this. And this cobblestone line will go all the way across the wall. So I'll finish building these pillars. Okay, and now place upside down stair blocks like this. And that looks a little bit odd because it randomly stops. And it would be like that if there were more stair blocks. And place stone bricks here. One more row of stone bricks and then upside down stairs to make the doorway. And put stairs there. And I like to put torches up here to provide some lighting. And you can also put torches here. And now this wall will be lit on the floor. And now for the next part, build this up a little bit more. And mirror this stair design up here and then from here build the back wall up a little bit more and build that up to there and place half slabs there or just slabs that lag spike then build up a little bit more and with a two and a half block gap place some upside down stairs to make a window. Continue building that up. Build it up a little bit more. Okay, place an upside down stair one block up and one block over from those upside down stairs. Then on top of those stairs, Put an upside down, put a normal stair, then two normal blocks there, and put two more normal stairs on top of those. And continue building this wall up as you go. Well, that would be one too tall. And to finish it off, put some upside down slabs there. 
and I'll just do that on this side just to keep it consistent. And I have a command block over there to automatically change the time. And now you're at the top of the second tier, so just expand the wall a little bit more. And then for the battlements, put one block there, a one block gap, two blocks, a one block gap, and then one block again. And put slabs here, and stairs here. And you can put stairs in front of all the gaps so you can climb up there to get a better view. And put torches on all the single blocks. And that is how you make the large castle wall. Only it would be taller because that is really unproportional to the battlements. And I think you could also change that block out for some stairs to have a slightly better view. But besides that, you could change the floor, and I guess you could change the blocks back here to have more variation. But besides that, thanks for watching. Bye.